Hello friends and I am continuing my tutorial series on how to create a fighting game from scratch with Unreal Engine 5. In the previous video we have implemented a heat detection function. Today we are going to learn how to play a heat reaction animation when we detect a heat. I provide you with a complete project with 5 heat reaction animations imported from my pet project uh, True Fighting Game Engine. You may know a lot about it, but I provide you with this tutorial project completely for free. To get it, just uh, post a comment below this video and specify your email address, and I will send you a direct link to this project. So you can follow this tutorial and use my animations. But first, while in this series we are creating a fighting game completely from scratch, there is a more professional way. It would actually take hundreds and thousands of working hours to create and test a production-ready fighting game like Mortal Kombat or Tekken, and it would cost a company hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, if it is your actual goal, and if this is why you started watching this video, I recommend you to still follow this tutorial series to get the in-depth understanding of the principles. But as the solution for your game, I would recommend using my true fighting game engine for Unreal Engine, which is available on Epic Store. It already implements features you may need in a AAA fighting game. You can easily manage multiple characters, attacks, combos and heat reactions through its blueprint system. It also provides a multiplayer support for local and network multiplayer fighting games. I am constantly working on improvements, so if you have an idea of your own fighting game, it is the best choice for you. You can find the link to the true fighting game engine in the description below this video. And now let's start with the tutorial. So, in this tutorial we want to pick up a random hit reaction montage for our enemy and play it when we detect a hit. Right? How do we how can we do so? Let's open our content drawer, go to content, third person blueprints and open up our BP fighter character blueprint. To play a montage, we should create a custom event. So let's go to, to the event graph, right click on empty space and search for custom event. And let's select add custom event. And let's name it hit reaction. Now let's drag a connection from the execution pin and let's start typing play montage and let's select this play montage node. As the in skeletal mesh component, let's just drag our mesh component from our components tab at the left. Right? And now uh, let's provide our montages, we, our heat reaction montages, which we want to play. To do so, let's drag a connection from our montage to play input pin and type select. And let's select an integer. as the input index and drag a connection from here and add random random integer in range all right and as i provide you with the heat animation montages One, two, three, four, 
five animations. So we will pick up a random montage from this set. So as a minimum we provide zero, as the maximum we provide four, right? And as they select a set, let's select the first hit animation montage as the option one, the second one, and let's add three more pins. And we provide the hit three animation montage, hit four anima animation montage, and hit five animation montage. Let's compile and let's save. And now it is really easy. Let's go back to our hit trace function. And here, where we get the affected character, our enemy character, from the SBP fighter character, let's drag a connection and for the hit reaction that we have just created. All right, let's save and let's compile. Let's start the game and test it out. Uh -huh. And you see. And yes, it is actually that easy. And that's actually it for today. Yes, really quick tutorial, but we have implemented an important thing because every time we perform an attack or fire combo, we want to see an actual reaction by our enemy. And now we have finally implemented it. So, thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.